Hello guys and welcome back to another Unreal tutorial. Today's video shows you how to create a circle aurora effect around your player's feet using a material and material instance. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a material and name this whatever you want. We're just going to name this ring and what you're going to do is you're going to up it up and then in the blend mode you are going to set this to masked. From here, you're going to want to come out and you are going to want to uh, create a radiant exponential. And from here, you're also going to want to hold S and click two times for two parameters. The first one, you are going to name this radius and a value of which is going to be one. And then for the second one here, you are going to change the name to density and a value of which is going to be two. Now just simply connect the radius to radius and the density to density. Now what you're going to do is you're going to hold A and click for an add icon. And what you're going to do is you're going to connect your radial gradient into B here. Now what you're going to want to do is you're also going to want to come up and create time with speed variable. There we go. And from here, you are going to want to connect the frac time in for A. Now what you're going to do is hold S and click. And you are going to call this uh, time with speed and the value of which is going to be set to 0.25 from here what you're also going to do is you're just going to create a time node just drag this up a little bit and you're going to hold m and click to get a multiply while you're here also hold s and click to get another parameter and what you're going to do is you're going to call this time speed and the value of which is going to be one. So now that we have that in place, what you're going to do is you connect, connect your time into A and your time with speed into B. Then what you're going to do is you're going to shift this over and you're going to connect your multiply in for time. All right, one correction I do want to do here is I messed this up, so I apologize. You're going to set the time speed to be and the time with speed is going to be speed i do apologize for that it does get a little confusing so please bear with me now what you're going to do is you're going to create a sign and you are going to connect this mode to the add which comes out here i'm going to drag this down and shift this over so we can give ourselves a little bit more room and then from this sign you are also going to set the period of which to one now what you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste two of your radial gradient exponentials and you're going to hold S and you're going to click two more times to get another set of parameters. This first one is going to be called mask radius and the value for this one is going to be 0.52. For your second parameter, we are just going to simply get rid of this and we are going to name this masked to radius and the parameter which is going to be 0.2 now connect both of these into the radiuses of your radial gradient exponentials and what you're going to do is you're going to create a subtract both of which your radiant exponentials are going to be connecting into now what you're going to do is you're going to hold three when you come up here and click to get yourselves uh your expression and we are actually going to convert this to a parameter and we're going to call this emissive color and this is where we're actually going to be creating the color for our ring so now you can come down and change the color of your ring i'm going to go with something kind of like a a teal something like that nature and now what we're going to do is we are going to get ourselves a parameter and a multiply. And to get the multiply, just hold down M and click. What we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we are going to set the parameter name to bright color and the value of which is going to be 10. And then what we're going to do is connect the color to A and connect the bright color to B. Now what you're going to do is you're going to get two more multiplies here. And what you're going to do is you connect your sign in uh, to B here, and you're going to connect your multiply into A for the original. And then what you're also going to do is for down here, you're going to connect your spline to A, and then you are going to take your subtract and connect to B. From here, just connect to your opacity mask. 
Now, one thing you do notice if we do this drop down menu here on the sign, if you want it to have a little bit more of a ring shape to it, we can actually adjust this period down to have more of a swirled effect, as you can see here. Let's hit save. We can apply it, and then we can just come out of this, and we can actually right click and convert the material into an instance. From here, we're actually going to apply it to our character now. So if you go to your character BP and go to the viewport, on the add component, you're going to find a plain mesh and the material of which is going to be our ring material instance. Now, as you can see, we are going to have to drop this down and adjust this accordingly. I found that about 3.5 is uh, good for us. But as you can see, it's on our character. And if I play here and move around, we do get the Aurora effect to our character.